Prophet says that whatsoever you bow his, put the seeds, that will you will ferment or you will cut in the hereafter. So everything is so important. Do we really realize that? I don't think so. And this is today's lecture is all about to understand the time which is I am making as a backbone or a spine or a brain stem towards two biggest realities which I'm going to inshallah discuss later on. So ayah says wala asr by the passage of time, the, by the oath of time, God Almighty saying, Inna al-insana lafi khus, Indeed, the mankind is in great loss. Illa al-ladheena amanu, except those who believe, wa amilu saliha, and do righteous deeds. Wa tabasu bil haq, and, and then call other people towards haq, truth. And wa tabasu bil sabr, and uh, teach other people how to use perseverance or to be patient. Whatsoever trial and tribulations you are indulged into it, it is the predestined qadr from Allah. You have to be thankful to Him, inverted commas, all the time. Because as a Muslim, we believe day of judgment, the day of punishment, if whatsoever you do in an atom size, you do something bad, you have to pay for the price for that, or pay for that thing. Not like just, you know, believe in some concept, mysterious concept, and you are forgiven. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. The father shall not bear the inequity of the son. Neither do the son will bear the inequity of the father. So everyone has to take his own cross and follow his own way. Way of the which the prophets of God Almighty has taught the humanity. Since the dawn of the beginning of the ages. So this is truth towards that. Now step by step let me explain you. So number one. The most important value is time in the surah. Number two, belief. If you do not have a belief of something, your deeds are wasteless, vain. Even the Bible says that the deeds without faith or belief is vain, is useless. What's the benefit? Alladina kafaru wa saddu an sabilillahi adalla amaluhum. Surah 47, first verse. Surah Muhammad Sallallahu Allah says oh Muhammad tell them whatsoever you are whatsoever you do write your stuff you, you are philanthropist but if you do not have belief and you are doing deeds I will make it adullah meaning vain wasteless waste it's a waste thing so what Allah says you have to have a belief then the outcome will come the outcome will be automatically there and that is your deeds. The deeds, the moral value within inculcate in you, inbred in you and this should come out. If it's not coming out, you are monophic. There's something wrong with you. At the time of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Munafikun, the hypocrites, you know, they try to show deeds towards Prophet Sallallahu but they don't have faith. So Allah reveals because this is the hidden thing. Allah says, oh, Muhammad says, be aware of these people. They are munafiqun. So now Jibreel alayhi salam will not come. No Nabi is there. So how would we know who is munafiq? We keep to Allah. But we judge people according to his deeds. If he has a belief, his deeds must come out. This is the second integral value. He can't say that. I have a belief and it's my between me and my God. I meditate and I or do this. But I don't need to do these exercises. Astaghfirullah, inverted commas. Because nowadays people say that. You know, these praying is, seems to be like an exercise. It's a physical fitness, you know. Astaghfirullah. These are the people, you know, who try to mystify, who try to think that they are superior in ideology. Olds, you know. We are not old school anymore. We are more, you know, uh, like... Exposure people. They're not even exposure people. God is the creator and you ought to follow him. There is no in as much so. There is no excuses of a nip or a thought. Whatever Allah has told you, God Almighty has told you, you have to follow. Otherwise, if you want to make your own life in dunya, then you go astray. And once you go astray, you pay the price. And you know that if you do not follow the manual of the something you know this machine has a manual that is Al-Quran Al-Furqan 
تبارك الذي نزل الفرقان على عبده ليكون للعالمين نذيرا ومحمد صلى الله عليه وسلم tell them سورة فرقان chapter 25 verse 1 tell them that this book is for the whole mankind as a warner warner this is the warning towards you and it has been revealed by God Almighty so this is not easy as we take time is the most important value so number one Allah says you have to have a belief and what is that belief and sorry what we there was that belief the belief towards the right attitude of theology and dogma that is belief and what's that and accept the one who believe they are not in loss it's a context it's a, it's a text of the context first to believe and then do righteous deeds you have a belief you do righteous deeds you are acceptable if you do not have a belief you do righteous deeds you are a hypocrite if you have a belief and you do not do righteous deeds, you are a mujrimun, criminal in the sight of God. So nothing will be accepted. Both ways you are in khasara, loss. Unless you have a belief, then you obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then, وَتَوَاسَوْ بِالْحَقِّ إِنَّمَ اللَّهُ إِلَهُ وَاحِدٌ وَلَا تَقُولُ عَلَى اللَّهِ إِلَّا الْحَقِّ Do not say anything except truth about Allah. That your God is one God. He's alone. Kul hu Allahu ahad. He's alone. And walam jukul hu kufuan ahad. The last verse. And nothing is like unto him. In word, this capital H. Allah says that this is the this is the criterion which you will be accepted. Belief, then righteous deeds, and then to accept the truth. Don't say anything. What our soul will hug and call people towards truth. What our soul will sober and call people towards perseverance. Chapter 2, verse 155, Allah said, And we will test you of hunger, fear, which you don't know, loss of the children, the lives. And we will see who is sabirin. Inna Allah ma'at sabirin. And we will see that who is amongst the most with the patience and perseverance. Allah is giving you this test to check you who is the best not that everything you have to get in this world on the spot Allah says in the Quran if I if I were to punish you one by one according to your deeds on the right time the right moment nothing must breathe nothing must be you know living that breathe everything will be finished but Allah has given the dynamic system the system of everything that you do something evil, sometimes you get punished on the time. But sometimes the punishment has been respited. And uh, ulama says that the respited punishment is, is the worst, is the worst than the punishment you get in the dunya. Meaning, if something Allah punishes you for some particular reason, it is better to get punished in this dunya than in the akhirah, where the time is so long, that the punishment is so cruel. So this is what the concept we should be thankful. And how would we know that something, a trial, calamity has fallen on me? Is it the wrath of Allah? Is it the punishment of Allah? Or it is the test of Allah? This is the biggest dilemma people face. It. Look, it's very simple. Any trial, calamity, tribulation come to you. And for this reason, you come towards Allah nearer to Allah than before, then it is a test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If that calamity and test makes you away from Allah, that is the punishment or wrath of Allah towards you. So you have to decide what, what is your reaction towards that calamity. Are you coming near to Allah? Then you are blessed. If you are going away to Allah, you are cursed. So in all the matters of life, we should be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whatever he has given us, whatever qadr Allah wa ma fa'al. So thanks to Allah, whatever qadr he has destined for me, that is the part of the faith and test too.